bike maintenance, lubricant, your chain, WD-40 is not a lubricant. It's a good way to ruin your shit. WD-40 is a cleaner that dries things. It actually takes lubrication away. It feels lubricated when you first put it on because it's wet. Use WD-40 to clean your chain and then use a lubricant. So tomorrow I'm going to be in my truck most of the day and I'm going to try to be a good boy and meal prep. So I figure I'm going to eat three of my meals in my vehicle so I'm going to prep whatever my macros are, divide by four, and make three of those into meals. So, so far I'm doing 265 grams of protein a day. So I'm going to figure out some meats that are going to help get those numbers. I've already got some pre-cooked chicken. I've got some beans and shit like that. And a trusty bag of rice. And I'm gonna stuff all of those in my six pack bag. Hit the road tomorrow and uh, heat food up inside gas stations where I can buy white monsters to keep the day rolling off. So these are what I'm gonna do. And then I'll show you what the containers look like when I'm done though. Boom, boom, moving. So each one gets 66 grams of protein. Five ounces of grilled chicken gives me 32 grams of protein. So that's going in every case. That also gives me room for four ounces of flank steak. 32 grams of protein giving me roughly 66 grams of protein per box with flank steak and grilled chicken. Slight change of plans. Just looked at my schedule and it seems I do have a lunch meeting tomorrow. So that will be kind of a wild card. But at least these are consistent, which leaves me about the same portion that I can eat for my meal at lunch. And I can always not eat one of these and then eat it again tomorrow. So I'll at least be prepared. So that does it for the meat. I basically just, I basically, I basically just dice it up. It's just easier to reheat, easier to shovel down my face while I'm trying to drive. So tomorrow's not gonna be my most fun day of eating, but here's what it is. That's red beans and lentils. So add that in, a couple ounces of that. Add the rice, takes care of some fiber. Here's some carbs, here's some protein. Look at my least rice. I use a uh, basmati rice. It really matter. Add some of that, figure out how much. Tomorrow will be a rest day, so 285, 85 divided by 4 equals 71 carbs per meal. 50 grams gives me 33 carbs. Grams gives me 66. 115 grams gives me 75 carbs. Let's cut that down to 110. 72. Close enough. What's up? So, talk a little bit about uh, you know just trying to live a little bit as much as you can, kind of live to the fullest. It's one of those things, and not everybody has the same desires. Not everybody wants to travel. Not everyone wants to go and do and experience and do the things that I've done. But that's the reason I do them, is I want to experience as much as I can firsthand from people that are experts or people that are knowledgeable or even just passionate people. Basically, in any realm whatsoever, I don't give a shit what they do. If they are a book manufacturer, a 
probably sit and talk to them. Um, it just, I, I like people that are super nerded into whatever they're about. And that ends up pulling me that direction. And that's, you know, one of the things I love about strength is getting to be around guys that are just so into it and so excited that there's not any jadedness. They're not jaded about it. And being around guys like that really fire me up to get back and train where it's just simple. It's just doing the work and putting in the effort and doing all that. It's There's something about that level of, I don't want to say amateur, but that right when you get started and you find something you completely obsess about it and lose your mind but you don't know anything about it that's not a great spot you're gonna have to dig through that but there's another spot where you're you've learned enough that you can filter that you can filter out the shit that does not matter and you can focus on you know what matters and what's worked for you and what you can do in the future to be better Having the ability to filter some things and know what works for you and apply those things and just discard the rest. It doesn't necessarily mean that person's wrong or that they don't know. It just means that those things don't necessarily apply to you. I mean, there is a big circle of shit that's going to work for strength training for everyone. For example, squats. Squats are going to work for every single person wanting to get stronger. Um, now, there's going to be some variance that needs to work for you. You know, I can do front squats because I've got plenty of mobility in my wrist and shoulders. But some guys need to cross their hands this way. Or some guys need to run that backwards safety bar. Any of those things, those are details. And those details are what you've got to find that's specific. Those details are what make you, you in your niche. So, when you're taking a program or anything like that, those are the little bits of things that you're going to learn to change on your own. Um, take the recommendation of whoever wrote the program, but, I mean, if you're a guy, you know, that has weak shoulders and you get a lot out of doing, <clears throat> you know, dips or a higher volume training like that, go ahead and bang that out. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no wrong way to any of this. The wrong way is being inconsistent. And being inconsistent will absolutely lead you to not hitting your goals and not accomplishing the things you want to. And that's, I don't care if that's your job, I don't care if it's training or throwing or anything. If you do something consistently, eventually you'll get done. You'll get to where you're going. I mean, if I consistently took three steps west every single day, you know, without backtracking, eventually I'll make it around the world. It's not a great analogy. I'm not an analogy. An analogist. But you get the idea. So you know, figure out what works for you. And once you've gotten through that, start pushing and start living your life and start beat the shit out of this body. I mean, be smart about it. And don't you know, kill yourself, but use it. I mean, that's what it's for. Especially, I would say, chances are, since you're listening to me, you're young and in the age of. Uh, I don't know, your physical prime. I mean, that physical prime, basically, I mean, is anything from about 18 or 15 to about 40. And then things are going to really start deteriorating probably after that at a higher rate of speed. Or you find something else to focus on that your body still allows you to do. But man, wear it out. Be outside. Experience some new things. Uh, you know, travel, meet people. Enjoy awesome stuff. So, hopefully that message comes across better than it sounds in my head. Yeah. Uh, another hour and a half from home. I need some food. Some of the meals I prepped. Smart? Got my meal up. Took me like a minute. Come out like it. Took me like a minute to warm it up. And then uh, 
go up in my bag. Plastic spoon. And mix it up a little bit more. This is not really what I want to eat at all. Uh, what I would rather have is gas station bullshit and some Slim Jims, some meat sticks, but I don't want to have those things more than I want to be successful with this diet. So, those uh, short desires of like, oh, fuck it, just have some candy bars or some bullshit. Um, those are all short-term, short-term solutions. You know, eat your food that you're supposed to eat. You know, if you do the right things the majority of the time, like this is a perfect example. Like this is today in my truck. I'm alone. This is fuel. You know, I'm going to eat the best thing I possibly can, despite taste. And by best, I mean what's going to fit my macros that I need to hit, what's going to fulfill whatever my nutritional needs are, and get me to my goals. Uh, you know, I'm not packing these type of dinners if I'm going out to eat with my wife or I'm going to the families for the weekend or anything like that. That's crazy person stuff, and those don't... My goals don't require me to do that so I don't have to be that extreme with it so this isn't exactly asking a lot of me is to make my own food and do it when it's pretty fucking easy to do it this isn't the worst place to eat food so that's what it looks like so we make all those last night um, it doesn't taste bad don't get me wrong it's just meat and chicken and rice so do the right things the majority of the time like 90% and you're basically okay I'm gonna eat my food now and then I'm gonna drive the rest of the way home I don't feel like driving and eating so also who's hanging out to play bean bags at the at the, uh, the old gas station Meal done. Back on the road. Head home. I got puppies to let out. Shit's getting serious. Keep them in the spirit of doing something. I'm gonna do something. Uh, gonna do some upper body. Gonna keep it simple. Chase a bit of the pump. Yeah. Let's think. Bench, slinger bench, dips, pull ups. I'm gonna do some kettlebell press. Yeah, that sounds fun. As my pre-off season is going to continue, we will call these the sum for a few days. You rappers sound the same a lot, and the game is still out there if you play or not. And I'm the king of queens, Kevin James is not. I quit my temp job because I can't let a day go. Tomorrow's moguls are delivering your bagels. I hope your trophy wife been practicing the kegels. Because when we take the game, we won't leave you any Legos. They go the kid with his dirty white sneakers on. Dreaming on a way to get his penthouse on bleaker on. Give your girl head. Call you with the speaker on. Horse it in your bed. Now you know who you're sleeping on. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? This booth is a crime scene. Chalk off the mic. The kill screen is my screen. No need to terrify or pop shots at witnesses. They only testify. They know what hot shit this is. True assassins, hold your glass up. That's the type of niggas that'll cut your ass up. Whether it be tracks or verses, chains or verses, that's the type of niggas that'll make you stop. True assassins, hold your glass up. That's the type of niggas that'll cut your ass up. Whether it be tracks or verses, chains or verses, that's the type of niggas that'll make you stop. Classic assassin, straight from central casting. I bust the ear of bow with both barrels blasting. I crush up your skull like a truck that you crashed in. I'm never gonna die like I'm tough, everlasting. Never thought that I'd carry an AK All I ever wanted to be is Farley, Farrell, or Faye And maybe someday that dream will come true But for now I got my gun and I'm aiming at you In your house, on your couch while you're reading I got no flow, it's more like breakthrough bleeding But I'm into cartoons and I'm really not sane All I leave of your body is a pinky in the brain I'm more Manson than a small time crook When it comes to taking lives, I steal a dang cook Bitch, take a look, you know it's in a book Even LeVar Burton's roots get shook I walk too much, not a goose, you watch me The innocent, the killers, you can tell by my fashion Bait hoodie, the bait sneaks, is all that 
watching I kill rappers I'll be no stealing If I do lose a battle I'm gonna get a grill I'm just kidding Or am I Things get real in the city Of LA That's right I live in Queens The borough of the lost I hate the fucking yuppies But I love about your cows Call me in the winter In the spring They play tennis And they give me strange looks Cause I fly like a dentist I'm a fittest This tennis They get me a rope So I got a little girl With my fresh light scope A nigga so dope I got the new boobers I never take a bell So I call them homeschoolers Assassins replace expressions on faces and hard eyes on gangsters with hot gaping spaces. Hands full of ace. So that right there is the perfect example of something for a few. Also, as I said earlier, I did not feel like training today at all. And I happily sat my ass at my computer when I got home and done nothing until the wife got home. But I did half the work by just coming in here and starting to move. And then it just kind of flowed and you keep going. It's Today's not a day that I'm gonna hit PRs or do any of that. Today's just grind. Today's get the work done. And enough days like this will improve the days that you feel good that you can go for something. Not every day is a record day. Not every day is something that's gonna be huge. Simply, it's just doing the work over time. And today's a day I put in a little bit of work. Not great but a shitload more than just sitting there and going backwards. So, hope that helps. Stay motivated. Pick up the new hats. Link below. Like, share. Thanks. Versus, chains of versus, them the type of niggas.